Yes, we're back, back, back at Goodwill. Okay, so I'm here waiting for them to open the doors on 4th of July. And I figure I'd do a little intro now because I don't know how fast I have to run to the regular knickknack aisle. So I'm just going to do my little intro now. And uh, we'll be in here shortly. Hopefully they'll open in a couple minutes. All right. Thanks for watching. Guys, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that like, comment under the video when it's done. And also in the pinned comment under all of my Thrift With Me videos will be a link to click on that takes you to my entire playlist of Thrift With Me videos in case you want to catch up. All right, be back. Okay, I did pick up a couple things so far. I'm in my favorite aisle. There are some interesting things here to say the least today. This is cool. Somebody did a neat paint job on that to make it look like stained glass. Um, a lot of hand-painted trivets that people did. That butter dish is still here. Um, here's a neat candy dish. Let me show it to you there. That's a cool candy dish. This is pretty, too. That's a pretty dish, 309. I wasn't sure if they were going to be open today or not. Uh, I did grab some stuff. It's cool because there's no music on. I don't have to talk over everything right now. Um... But I'll show you what's on this side. Uh, the dolphins were really nice, but one of the dolphins has a broken fin, unfortunately. But it was pretty. Made it to look like Majolica. And we have some figurines. There was a whole collection of lighthouses when I was here last time, the one I didn't film. I didn't film at all last week because there really wasn't anything to show you guys. And uh, that's a pretty crackle glass vase. That's beautiful. That is really nice. Um, this is a chicken that holds two wine bottles. He's 509, but he's really garbage quality. But he's kind of funny. That's a big chalkware piece. A giant chalkware cornucopia. Um, I'd probably break that if I took it. There's a picture frame. There's a... Uh, what is that called? Just a resin lady dress. And I'm trying to figure out where I can put this so I can show you guys. There's no safe place to put this. Put it back there. Okay. Let's see, there's art pottery here, and it says strength. But let's see. Okay. It does have some damage to it. It says strength. It's art pottery. Neat dollar nine but it is broke it is have damage to it so we're gonna leave that here um let's look over here here's a kitty cat pitcher dollar nine it's very light but uh, it's not really that desirable this is a cool hallmark ornament 209 it's resin i thought it was blown glass uh sculpted by joanne something I don't know. I'm not into getting that stuff just yet. Then we have these really cool candlestick holders. They look like flower buds. And it looks like it's got something written on the bottom, but I can't tell what it is. No, this one doesn't have it at all. And this one's damaged. So, but they're still cute. Um, some owl things, some frog things. More of these that somebody made. They're little terracotta trivets a spoon rest more dolls this is a cool piece looks like raku looks like a raku piece it's made to look old I'm not gonna pick it up though oh it has pretty birds isn't that cute I wonder if they're in okay shape that's a cute but it's nothing spectacular so we're just gonna leave it here it's 209. It's a diffuser. Oh, it's very heavy. It feels like it might still have the oil in it. Uh, some of the same stuff that's here. That's been here for a couple weeks. Alright, now we're going to switch sides. Hold on. Alright, here's the other side. And we have a set of four of these canisters. The adobe look to them but they appear to have no lids. This one does have a lid here. Oh, I think this is the end canister. Yeah, that's the one with the ladder. 
That's a cute rack, but there's no corks for the bottles. That's really cute. A uh, little hound dog. Now up here, these are all temptations, but uh, I'm not picking those up. Leave that for somebody else. They should be in the dish aisle. They moved this bowl up, which is a really intriguing looking piece. Uh, let me move my, move my cart back so I can show you guys. Here's the other two canisters, that one and that one. Uh, so only two have lids out of all of them. He's cute. He's blown glass. Blown glass snowman. Um, there's more chalkware. Oh, there's another one of these. I just picked up one. Let me, I like these. I like these. I'm going to check them out later. I have two. I have one in the card already, so I got that one too. That's like a condiment dish. Oh, look, this says spoon. Hearth and home, 209. If it was 109, I would have got it. But I'm not going to get it. I'll leave that for somebody else. Green salt and pepper shaker. I'm trying to turn my cart. The elephant was cute, but he is missing a tusk. He is missing, missing a tusk. Mm, not sure what that says. Uh, can't make it out right now. Unless they never meet now. I think somebody just tried repairing it. He's interesting. He's interesting. Okay, so let's turn the card around. Nice pot there. You got a purple vase here. A lot of masks. A lot of masks which I'm not into. Somebody broke one already. Ooh, there's a bunch of them and there's some on the end cap. A whole bunch of them. Somebody's collection. All right, let's move down here. Who remembers those for soup and crackers? Uh, here's a metal lantern, but it's a frog. That's cool, but the bottom is missing off of it. Ribbit. And let's see. Season something for that. That is, oh, it's two pieces together. Okay, I see. I said that looks very strange. All right, I'm not really seeing. Oh, there's a strawberry without a lid. Would have got that. Okay, so we're just gonna move on. We might look at this more in depth later on, guys. Okay, we're here in the first miscellaneous aisle. Is that Garfield Planter? <sighs> That's a Garfield planter. How cute is he? Oh, we gotta get Garfield. Oh my goodness, we'll put him in the cart. Here's a little itty bitty gnome. Merry Christmas gnome. He's a dollar nine. A casket carving kit for a pumpkin. Uh, some kind of plastic purse. Uh, here is a ice bucket. Oh, it does have its lid. It's yellow. Got the acrylic handle. And let's see, Bucket Brigade, mm, it's not very desirable, it's just solid yellow, needs a cleaning. I know a lot of people pick these up, I'll leave this for somebody else. I like the ones with the prints on them, oh, that's cool. Maybe if it's still there when I'm ready to leave I'll get it, but it's not top of my list. Oh, there's another pie. There's another pie. It's green. It looks like pea pie. <laughs> green peas. Or green apple pie, maybe. Who knows? We have some Christmas stuff. Easter egg garland. More garland down there. Um, we have a purple piggy. I guess when you put money in it, maybe his, oh yeah, maybe his mouth moves. That's kind of cool. She'd be a cute piece for farmhouse or cottage core. Uh, who she made by? The Shepherd's Cottage in Colorado, 209, and she is signed. She is kind of cute, but nobody's buying that stuff from my booth, so I think we're going to leave her here for somebody else. Uh, here's a trivet that says more than enough. Youth Conference interesting 
more wreaths and such. Here's some ornaments down here. It's a whole bag of ornaments. $7.09 for that. Nothing can, oh my goodness, it's a little taco pinata. Isn't that cute? Taco pinata. Lift here. And that's where you put the candy. That's an awful tiny pinata though. It is cute. Dolls, creepy dolls. Here's a pot. 509 for the pot. Very pretty. Um, what is this? Our town. Davis residence. Illuminated house. HD designs grill. Here is a Frankenstein. Mm, some eggs. And here's a fire hydrant and a Dalmatian. And here is a wood piece from Romania. Number nine. And I don't see anything in the plastic. So, but that's about it over here on this side. Nothing, nothing really standing out to me. All right, we're gonna truck on, guys. Okay, here's a first for me in Goodwill. There's a corpse at Goodwill, full inflatable corpse, 309. I don't know, that's just so weird. I might get it, so you put that in the cart. Full inflatable corpse, everybody. Uh, what is this from? The Crudes. Okay. Uh, wow, look at the size of a husky over there. And we'll see if we can find anything here. I'm looking on the other side at the same time at the loose plastic toys. Oh, there's a giant. I'll show you guys something in a minute. There's a giant spider and leather. Um, 209 for the cabbage patch. Uh, don't really get into them. Here is a little Grogu. And then we have a crocheted bunny rabbit. Let me see what else we have here. All right, I'll turn this back on in a minute, guys. Okay, so we're on this half of it. Sorry, there was people in here, so I didn't want to get in their way. Where in the USA is Carmen San Diego? Wowza. Okay, I'm not seeing anything here that we need. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quick at the plush. Nothing's jumping out at me. So maybe we'll go to Mishmash next. We'll see, we'll see. All right, let me pause it for a second. Okay, and just to show you, here's all the loose toy stuff. What are you? Oh my, another creepy doll for Chris. Insta screen. We have a Ghostbusters tin here. Uh, a dinosaur. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. He makes noise. That's cool. I don't know which one of those are the ones to look for or not. Not my thing. some kind of transformer type dude over there and it's starting to pick up again it's starting to fill up again so like anything from the third week on uh it gets empty here all right we'll move on okay we're in the wood aisle that's a cute old piece with the frog riding a turtle a little plaque it does have damage where somebody tried peeling off a sticker no price it's a cute little jewelry box down here for 209 but way smaller than anybody I know needs. And we'll say we have one of these architectural pieces here. Candlestick holders. Some more sayings. Um, wow. That's one heck of an arrangement down there. That's a huge... Oh, there's two of them. I don't even want to touch them. They're going to fall apart. I don't want to inhale that stuff. What is this? 
Oh, it's a soap dish. And then we have a squirrel that matches the frog and the turtle. Old. Oh, he's got a little snail friend. That's cute. Very, very cute. Uh, let's see what else we might have here that might be interesting to show you. A little shadow box. Those are always good to have. It's a little chipped up. There's a cute rocking horse, but he's broken. I'm going to stay away from the day four stuff because it really doesn't go for me in my booth. They like the more bizarre stuff that I pick up. So, uh, a neat wine rack. You could make that into a display for other things as well. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's that faux inlaid wood frame that I saw a couple weeks ago. Here's an angel. Here's an angel. Ange angel Blessings makes that. Not that impressed with it. Here's some big letter G's. Um, that cross is still here. I don't know this, oh. Bullware stainless steel chillers. Grabbing booze by the horns. Okay. We got a basket. Oh, this is a cute little planter set. That's adorable. 309. It was 12. Um, but somebody from my channel that buys for me wants ones with drainage holes, but I guess you could always put them in here, put them in the bottom. They're really cute. You know, that's a possibility. I might get that. I'll put it in the cart as a possibility. We shall see. There's another jewelry box, like frosted glass. I uh, don't know. Those are empty boxes. Look at these, they're so cute. That is adorable, dollar nine. Let's see what those are. So this is the library. And it's got glass, like. Oh, how cute these are. I have another one over there. Wine. Those are adorable. But they won't sell for me. They won't sell for me. They're cute though. They're cute little plaques. I'm sure somebody's gonna pick them up today. They're very cute. Okay. Okay. I'm too sexy for my boots. Okay. What is this? It's plates. Switzerland. Switzerland plates. And they have a ton of glass screen protectors. Premium Protect Phone Screen, two-pack. Uh, I don't know where it says who it's for, though. Uh, but there are there are a bunch of them. Just a bit. Just a few. I don't know what those are for. And we have this guy. He's pretty cool, but he's all day-glow. He's all day-glowed out. Carved wood. And I think that up there is for wine. You put the four glasses and then you put the bottle in the middle. That's pretty neat. We'll check that out. We have some sconces. And let's see how much this is. This is 309, 2002, something exclusive. All right, well that's cool. I guess you yeah, you just rest the wine bottle in the middle of that, and then you put the four glasses on the sides. That's pretty neat. That is cute, but I don't think I really need that. So, all right, be back. So this is interesting. If anybody knows what this is for, let me know. They look like little boats. It looks like a nautical theme something. It's 309, distributed by Crescent Enterprises not for direct food contact okay so it's not for food but it's pretty cute and there's a nice painted uh vase here with a lighthouse i just wanted to show you guys all right we're gonna move on all right we're here in the dishes section and there's some interesting things here here is an elephant plate which is kind of pretty here's a temptations in its little holder, um, 309. Here's some 
bowls and saucers made in China. These are really pretty. Uh, they are made by Certified International. It's 509 for the four of them. And one bowl is a fox. One has owls on it. One has rabbits and one has pheasants. They're absolutely beautiful. Salt and pepper shaker. I saw those last week. And then we have, this is a depression glass. 109 for that one. And 209 for the platter. They're kind of cool, but they don't really sell for me. Uh, this is an older piece here. And I'm not sure what it is. I'm not, I'm not peeling it back. But um, that's an older piece. I think it, I think it is. Well, yeah, it is. There's, there's a yeah. whole set in that first aisle of flat dishes, oh, like yeah? with handles. Yeah. They're a different color, though. I think they're the pink ones. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else here? I helped somebody find, there was those masks and she had a couple in her hand from an end cap, the, another lady, and I told her where the uh, rest of the masks were in that, that aisle on the bottom shelf. So she went and grabbed a cart so she could get them. <laughs> I don't mind helping people if they have something in their hand and they're looking for certain things. It doesn't bother me. That's cute. It looks like a wood floor with a doggy on a rug and a teapot on a table. Oh, and a kitty cat with the yarn. What are these? Those are cute. Majestic wear. Oh, okay. Learn something new every day. Those are cute. That kind of stuff does not sell for me. If you're one of my regulars and you're watching this and you like that stuff, oh, those are still here. Well, so that lady took the temptations, which is good. I didn't need it. I don't need the temptations. I still have pieces I haven't even sold yet, so that's cool so she's going to get 20 percent off today of that price so i just i don't mind helping people look for stuff because i would hope somebody would do that for me if i was looking for something and they'd tell me if they saw more of it somewhere else in the uh in the store and it's such a shame about these dragon plates such a shame that these are both damaged they're both damaged because they're awesome awesome unfortunately Ooh, this one has got pretty colors on it look at that Ooh, here one 69 cents for that plate that's nice just for decor on a wall but you can tell it's just a cheap transfer done on it but that's very very got a nice 70s look if you need accent pieces this is a pretty little set they look like little wispy wheat things ah what are you uh, I can't make that out. Hand painted, made in Japan. It's 509 for the whole set. They're cute. They're very cute, but not my style for selling stuff. Those are plastic. Those are plastic. Uh, not much here. Other than that stuff to talk about. Mm, a lot of plain dishes, but let me see who makes these. Um, I can't make that make that out either. Sorry, I don't need those. I don't need them. So let me go show you guys here. Speaking of plates, you guys remember remember these here? Ten oh nine. Um, they're half off today because it's green tags. So I'm gonna take a look, make sure they're not damaged. And um, I don't know. They're just pulling to me. I love the design on them. So we might get those for five bucks. And hold on. I'm going to turn slowly. So nobody gets dizzy. And this is the pots and the pans. And there's really not much here that I grab. Ever. And the utensils. Sometimes I'll get utensils for me. But not for resale. Not not much here. Sometimes you could grab some oddball stuff. Canisters and things like that, but I'm not seeing anything. Alright, let's move on. Well, I might get these too because they're green tag and they're half off. Even though there's no lid, um, I still think they're cute. Somebody might like them. Even though the big uh, 
coffee urn is gone. Maybe we'll get these. So they'll be both for 309. All right. So we're here in the mugs and the metal aisle. Uh, this is a really nice cottage core piece. I guess it's for magazines, or you could put a couple wood logs on it. That'd be neat. Um, it's very hard filming when there's this amount of people. This would be great for a sphere, a large sphere. So I'm going to grab that for a stone sphere. That's a cool tray right there, galvanized metal. 509. Well, that's a little crazy. And let me put that in my cart. Okay. Here's a Coca-Cola tray with rust right in the middle of it. And that is 309. Apology, although you'll find our house a mess, come in, sit down, converse. It doesn't always look like this. Some days it's even worse. Oh, that's cute. Oh, and even more is broken on this guy because he's been thrown over here where the metals are. That's cute. Dollar nine. Yeah, that's that's an older piece. All right, we'll get that. We'll get that. I went down the mugs. I did a once over on the mugs, but I haven't seen anything. Oh, look at this picture. Look at this picture with the somebody learned etching. They did a ship on there. Uh, let's see. What else? It's good here because I don't have to talk so loud because they don't have the music on yet. So oh, that's very lightweight. Salt and pepper, old Thompson carbon steel, but this one says ceramic and it's not ceramic. It doesn't even look like it's real anything and there's no price on it. I don't really need these. Oh, that's, yeah, that's eaten right through the metal there. That's got no hope. What is this? Candlestick holder. We have some kind of a panels for plate holding plates on the wall um, this is a giant music note here I'm not going to take it out because it's a conspiracy theory over here in the metal aisle once you take one thing out of ten other things come with it so uh, not seeing anything else that might stand out to me to show everybody these are cute little stainless steel bowls. Somebody has little pets, that'd be good for them. And little teeny tiny buckets. Oh, they're cute too. Those are adorable. Those would be great for tiny plants to start seedlings off. You can always punch a hole in the bottom oven, but they'd be 20% uh, off of 69 cents each. And here's some of these little planters, <clears throat> 209 but they'd be a pain to ship. These are really cute. So 70, 60, I don't know. They're, maybe they're just too, I mean, if you put dirt in them, they'll be, they're just so cute, these mini buckets. You know what, I'm gonna get them anyway. They're cute, I'll get them. And what's cute, plastic, uh, air vent. Here's some baking pan, low, little loaf pans. They've seen better days. There's a lot of people in here right now. You might not hear it, but there is a lot of people in here right now. Very hard going down the aisles, and I don't want to. I don't want to uh, be in their way when they shop. Ooh, look at this Swiffer-looking thing. It's got scrubber pads, and it's got these pads. It's very wide. Me likey. Let me put that on the bottom. That's good. That's good for cleaning. That might make the cut. Perfect slice for two dollars. All right. I'm just grasping at straws now. I haven't been able to get down the art aisle, and I still have to show you guys the mishmash too. All right. Hold on. Let's switch sides. Okay. Here is the mug side. Mugs and cups. Uh, a lot of shot glasses. I used to buy them to resell. There's just so darn many of them out there now. Is this is technical about not it's orange. Um, let me just park my cart right here so it's out of the way. 
Oh, thanks for being my mom. If I had a different mom, I would punch her in the face and find you. <laughs> oh man, that is funny. Saltwater blue. That's, I don't know, I can't buy that. I don't want to encourage that. There's something, looks like it's from the 70s. Let's see. What's it say on the back? Bicentennial Celebration 76 to 96. Yep. 249 for those. Not that uh great. Olympic Games mug. Uh, what is this? Oh, Norman Rockwell's. Uh, there's a cactus drink thingy. This guy's cool. He's plastic. He's a mug. No, he's glass. No, he's plastic. Dollar nine. It says beer o lantern. I don't know if Wolfie would be interested in that, but that's kind of cool. I'll I'll grab it anyway. That caught my eye before too. Let me throw this in here. Sorry, I have to move fast to put it in the cart. Okay. Let's look down here a little bit longer. And we're gonna pass by this stuff. Sorry if it makes you dizzy. But there's people coming down here, so I gotta move quickly. Uh, I'm not really seeing. See, you take something off that shelf, and more stuff falls down. All right, so happy I'm. So happy I'm 30. That's a cool mug too. Oh my goodness. There's an oldie right there. And it's got a lot of damage to it. Wish there was a way just to take the paint right off of it. All right, we might revisit this later. It's getting way too crowded over here. Sorry, guys. All right, we're finally in the art aisle. Look at this guy. How cute is he? That's, uh, that's nice. It's a chalkboard. It says, having a place to go is home. Having someone to love is family. Having both is a blessing. And it's busted. You can see the frame there busted um, that's a cute little piece with the farm scene there was a nice yeah there's a nice old lacquer unicorn picture here 209 that one's just scuffed up paper oh the enamel the enamel set is here the this is a picture frame and a trinket box. They're enamel. What's the price on this? Five oh nine. I don't think tulips are very popular. I think it was other flowers. I would get it. Somebody had it torn open. I don't know if they broke something in it. So, which is very possible. There's a little frame thing. Love isn't love until you give it away. And Christ strengthens me. There's a cute little giraffe up there. That's adorable. I don't know if that's an original or not. Um, whoops, I'm running into a bicycle. Hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness, Wolfie would love this. Wolfie would love this. Check this, it's too big to ship to her. Look at the giant cutout gingerbread man. Holy moly, how adorable is that? How adorable is that? He's like two feet tall. Four or not. Isn't he cute? He's so big. I can't ship that to her. It would be an oversized package. It would cost a fortune, unfortunately. That's too bad. Hopefully she'll get to watch this. Hopefully Wolfie will see this. This looks like a still life piece that's signed. Here's a framed piece of fabric with a cockatiel on it, or cockatoo, I don't know the difference. Mm, 309 for that. Probably somebody's old upholstery, maybe it was sentimental to them. <sighs> this is a painting. Yep, that's a painting. It looks like one of those assembly line paintings. That's an older piece, you can tell by the frame. You see here, 309. 309 and it's another mask up there some clocks this is a rotating picture cube 
here. There's another mask. If that lady's still here, I'll tell her there's another one here. What does this say? We'll eat for food. Okay. 209 for that. Not seeing anything here in the art. Not at all. Whoops. Keep running over pieces of broken glass and such. Okay, that's it for the art. Journey's end. Okay. So there you have it. Moving on. Alright. Somebody just knocked a bunch. Oh, a shelf went down, I think. Oh, a shelf came down. See that, guys? The shelf came down. It collapsed on the left side and all the stuff fell off the shelf. Wow. Good thing nobody was there to get cut. All right, so back to where we were. This is a metal sculpted frog, and we're going to pick it up because Kathy might want it for her husband. Is it him? And I want to show you. This doesn't scream 70s. I don't know what does. And she's knitting or crocheting. One of her needles is broken. 309. I think it's a music box. Schmid. Yep. Schmid music box. But one of her needles is broken. That's a shame. Very, very 70s for that. It was very, very cute. But unfortunately, it's broken. And on this end cap, we have this nice piece of milk glass. It's 309. I'm not a fan of the great pattern. But we have that. Oh, they moved her over to the end here. She is kind of cute. Then we have these ceramic piggies here. They were hobbyist pieces. I'm not crazy about the paint job, so I'm not going to pick them up. Here's a Pillsbury Doughboy napkin holder from 1988 for 209 So we're going to pick him up. These are cool. They're acrylic, but they have fish in them. Aren't they neat? See the bubbles in the fish going all the way around? They're $1.09 each, but they're very intriguing to me because the fish are like divoted into the plastic. See? Those are really cool. But I think, I think I'll pick this up. Somebody might want this at the next sale. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Please comment under the video when you watch it. I do sell a lot of this stuff on my channel. If you don't see me having a sale uh, that often, please feel free to email me. It will be in the description area with a timestamp or a screenshot of what you're interested in purchasing. All right, I'll try to get down the mishmash aisle. Wish me luck. All right, we are in the mishmash aisle. Some people left purses and various things here. A mind reader. Okay, no idea. What are these? Oh, those are mats. Different mats. Oh! Motown Tress hair. Hair. We got Spider Man cardboard thing for Halloween. That'll probably get destroyed. Here's a thing hand sanitizer. A uh, little wax melt and egg chalk. Very hard getting down this aisle. So at least somebody here. Oh, what is this? Kim Kimball hair repair kit. Um, let's see what else is here. Uh, photo paper, air filter, just some paper vinyl, crafter square, colored vinyl. There's a couple of them. There's a little gnome gel stick on thing. One scooper's left out of all those, up oh, two scoopers. And those look like knitting needles, balines, maybe they're foreign. Electric outlet switch sealers. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Oh, that's appropriate for today. Happy Fourth of July. It's a windsock. Here's a silicone mold for 309. You can use this for clay or you can use it for chocolates. Um, I don't think I'm going to be making anything with clay that's going to be actually flowers, so I'm not going to get that. It was $1.09 and we get it for my craft sale. V-shaped smoker box. And that's kind of interesting. Cabela's stainless steel. Well, you know what? I might look that up. Well, 
look, more hair. Let's see. It's in there. It doesn't look like it was used. All right, we're going to look that up. Let me put that on the bottom of the cart. That's going to get checked. Oh, had a little tremor there for a minute. Almost dropped the phone. Here is some cardstock, 50 sheets of brown cardstock that you can make uh, labels with or tags or something. It's only 209. Um That'd be great for price tags. I think I got a price tag stamper. Maybe I'll just make some price tags first. I don't know. I'll put it in the cart. I'll refine my purchases later. Here's a lap thing, Paw Patrol, for the kids to eat little snacks. Here's some. Oh, you strap them onto your shoes, I guess. 309 Mad Gear. It's for one foot, though. This rocks. Oh, there's another scooper. Uh, toilet paper. We need toilet paper. Dollar nine for toilet paper. Of course, we have hair here. We have our regular binders and some diapers. And of course, we have more hair, more hair, more hair. And what this is? This paper. There's a Superman umbrella there. And let's see what else we've got. We have some napkins, some cards, more hair. Uh, sometimes I look for labels up here. They have the label kits, sticky labels. I'm not seeing. There's some emoji stuff. Uh, I can't make out what this is a picture of. This is very confusing. Wild West something, probably for a party. Wild West theme party. There's an oil filter. We have a Marvel Spider-Man puzzle. Here is a Holiday Home Plaster Casting Hand Print Kit for $1.09. Piece of hair going across it. Um, it has been opened, but I don't think anything's missing from it. So I'm gonna get that for the next craft sale. That's kind of cool. We'll put that in the cart for a possibility. What is this? There's like four people behind me now, so I'm gonna have to move a little faster. Sorry. Valentine Crafts. It's a ladybug. There's a little toilet seat. Okie dokie. I don't want to touch anything that's under that. Um, what is this? It's like a salt container. Looks like it's got the Morton Salt Girl on it. Um, here's a little football fanny pack. Here's that mystery, mystery item. I'm going to see if we can find out what that is. That's been here a while. We're going to have to check that out. Here's some tea and curtains. Nightly Calm Herbal Tea. Keurig, oh, they're, they're, um, they're K-Cups. Uh, they're still good, too. $1.09. That's a good deal. I don't have one, though. Here's a little cat collar. Three oh nine for the cat collar, so we're going to hold off on that. Then we have some balls, balls, balls. Ooh, squishy balls. Stress balls. We have four different color stress balls. Um, press on vinyl letters. I already sold all the ones I had. They went very quickly at my craft sale. And some ink cart cartridges. Baby hangers. Um, more vinyl. Couple games. Fun Bits two piece food cutter popper top. For what? Mm, it's strange. Oh, it's that's the uh, yeah, minions. It's in the shape of the goggles. Okay, I think we're done here in the mishmash. Here's a sorting box. 409. And more hair. How about that? 
a diverter stem. I'm sure this is quite expensive when you get it at the plumbing store or if you have to have a plumber do it. But I think that's it for the mishmash, but it is starting to fill up again, so that's good. Master Chef cooking game. And that's a nice binder. Okay. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here. It depends on how much stuff they bring out. And I think I showed you most of the regular stuff, I hope. I think I did the knickknacks. I did the miscellaneous one aisle, the art, the dishes. I think I showed you the mugs just a little bit. People were coming in. It's packed here. So, uh, what is that? Uh, another umbrella. Okay. That's a nice substantial basket for logs or magazines. It is really heavy duty. Really heavy duty basket. That's nice. How much is that? 409. I got that really big basket a couple weeks ago. I still have to put it in my booth for the artwork. It's a cute little basket with some stick -a mocha on it. $1.69 for you. Oh, it's got stick -a mocha caca. Uh, schmutz all over it. There's a grapevine basket down there. Uh, I guess the airplane shell finally sold because I didn't see it in the wood aisle. There's a Commodore's album. It might be empty, that's why it's here, because that would have got bought up right away here where I live. And yeah, that's about it for the baskets. You're seeing the you're seeing the gist of it. That's a nice quality basket right there chip basket made in China but it's really nice 409 it's nice to film and not have to worry about it getting a copyright because they don't have any music going on I love it I'm sure they'll realize it eventually though that's a nice substantial basket there but it's broken there's a peeps basket right there yeah I did show you the wood stuff okay let's see if we, they bring out more stuff in the next little bit that guy is so cute. He's a topiary bunny. Look at him. Big topiary bunny. Too bad it's after Easter. Isn't he adorable? Look at the size of him. He is so cute. I just wanted to share. Would you look at the eyebrows on him? Oh my goodness. How silly is he? That's a cool piece. The faux plant with the bulb. 409. They just put that out. Um, she just filled some stuff here. I want to see if there's anything different here that we can look at and grab. I'll let you guys know. It's kind of neat looking. Votive holder. Um, move this over here. This is a cute bunny basket. Here is a salt pig. It's called a salt pig. Uh, Nova products made in China, Casanova. Um, that's pretty cool. 89 cents for the salt pig. I don't know if people even use them anymore. I don't think so. I can't even think about using one of those in this humidity living down here. Here's another little vintage girl figurine. Um, some little le Oh, I hear wind chimes. I hear chimes. Where are those? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at these. Two little piggies in a crate. Oh, we'll have to get those. What does it say? Wake me up on Friday. Oh, uh, they're cute. We gotta get those. I don't think they're salt and pepper shakers, but what are these? Oh, look at those. She just put out that. Oh, basket of strawberries. 209 for that. And then we have the, the flowers. I'm kind of leaning toward the strawberries, so I think we might get that. It's a possibility. It is a possibility. Well, I think the sound was somebody actually buying. I don't know where the wind chimes are. I can't follow the sound. I think somebody grabbed them. There's a teddy bear, like a jester teddy bear. There's some balls. A snowman. 309 for him. He's cute, but not 309 worth. Somebody grab those. I hear them. Hold on. Yep, somebody grabbed the wind chimes. Wind chimes are very expensive. I would have grabbed them too. Um, I hang them on my porch. 
This is cute. This just got put out too. It's Santa giving a little kit in a bath. And this is cloth teak. Oh, it's a cloth teak. Possible dreams. Oh, it's a cloth teak. And then you have these little little kittens in a basket. How cute they are. I don't know if they go with him. Like animal shelter. Oh, they're all separate. They're all separately priced. Oh, so he's washing this one, but it should be it should be together because it's from the same. He's obviously washing the kitten, and then we have these two little ones, and they're separate as well. Which he probably has them maybe have them all around him. I'm not sure because they have the same kind of face. They're made out of the same stuff. They're made out of the same stuff. Um. I don't know if cloth tea is worth it anymore. But it's cute. It is cute. Santa washing up the little kitties. And the front says animal shelter. Maybe it goes this way. I don't know. If it goes this way, you can't be washing it. Maybe you line up his head with the bubbles. Like that. That's really cute. That's cute. Okay, well I missed out on the chimes. That's okay. No big deal. I wouldn't even know. I guess they might have put them out with the uh, metal aisle. Okay. I don't see anything else new here. So I'm gonna... Oh, there's a cowboy snowman. He's new. So apparently I think some, they're gonna be putting out uh, somebody's snowman collection throughout the day. Okay. I'll be back. So they put out this. It's home sweet home. It kind of looks like an Odagiri piece. It is marked Japan on the bottom. Has a lot of crazing. Cute planter. Here's an Avon piece from the 80s. Um, it does have some chips on it. And then here's the other Avon piece from the 80s. The bunny collection. I used to have it. Um, that's really cute. But they don't sell that well anymore. So I'm just going to leave them there. Uh, there's a lime, just a lime, it's a plastic lime. Okay, love grows here. Sometimes people t tuck stuff in the back, so you never know. They're hiding something for when they want to come back. That's cute, that leaf, let me put that up there. Bears leaf with the acorns 209 for that it would have to be a little more special than that for me to pick it up um, so I do have stuff I'm going to be bringing to my next variety sale in a couple weeks on my channel so please subscribe hit that notification bell set it for all hit that like comment under the video or send me an email if you're interested in something I just love him, but I can't ship him. He would melt. The whole frog candle. He's really pretty. He's really pretty. I just, he wouldn't make it during shipment coming from here. That's a cool vase too. 309 for that. I like the texture. You see the texture on it? That's really cool. I shall return. Look at this chair leopard print overload check it out and it is it is so like really short pile plush kind of feel to it wow that is amazing even the feet are done that is a cool piece it's thirty dollars so i just want to show you guys not neat i can't walk back any further there's a couch behind me so look at the purses. Um, a bunch of people ran right to the sneakers, but any sneakers that happen to say Nike on them, um, I don't deal in that stuff because I know there's fakes and they're very hard to sell online. So uh, I don't bother with that. I don't see a name on you. A pretty classic looking style. I don't know. I don't know. Just not into these. BCB generation. Whoa, that is gaudy silver fur silver fur with glitter and a lot of bling bling my goodness there's a cute little suede purse and 
I have no idea. I have no idea. I like the weird stuff. I like the stuff that I know. This is kind of cool. I like this. What is this? Amen leather. It's cool though. I like that. And it's got the multicolor strap too, the leather. That's kind of neat. Five bucks. This will be four bucks. It's a nice big bag. But it's really not my thing, and I don't know if anybody will be interested in it but me. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave it. Alright, let's go to the other part of the purses. Alright, a lot of black purses. I just get blind when I see a bunch of black purses. I don't even know what to what to look for. Nothing's I think that's a Kathy Von Zeeland bag. I don't know what that is. Bebe. That's a Steve Madden bag. This one's a cool color. This is a Jessica Simpson. Yeah. It's a Jessica Simpson bag. Well, I don't know what that one says. This one's a VR. No idea. I'll just show you guys. This one's kind of cute. Oh, it's beat up though. Alright. So... That's it for the purchase. So I finally found out what this is. It's made by Novika, and it's called um, "Do Not Open the Bottle" or uh, "Don't Break the Bottle." And you put a wine bottle in it, and apparently this is a. It needs. There's another piece to this, and you put the wine bottle in there, and you put this on the top of the wine bottle. Oh. It's running through the side here. You put this on the top of the wine bottle and you hang something from it. And then you put this on another part of something and hang something on it. It's ridiculous. Look it up. Um, it's very, very strange. So I'm not getting it. It doesn't look very appealing to me. And the Cabela's V-shaped smoker box I'm going to put back as well. Um, I mean, they go for like 20 bucks. But I don't really care. I don't really need that. So... So this is one of those coffee grinders. A lot of times they're just decorative though. Um, it's beat up, so I'm not gonna get that. Uh, it's a nice stainless steel napkin holder. It's really cool. Boys Town, little vintage trays. Oh, there's one with a butterfly. And there's one with two birds. Those are cute can't bring in a lot of money with those Let's see if they put it oh look at this it's a big old strawberry uh, oh it's chip darn they've been 20% off of 209 it's a giant strawberry basket thingy that's cool but we're not gonna get it I know I can repair it but it does it's a big dent in it so we're just gonna put that back that wasn't here earlier and somebody did take the Santa somebody's um somebody took the Santa but they didn't take the kitty cat that he was washing so it looks dumb he's just reaching down with his hand doing nothing so that was pretty interesting I wonder if those are easels they might be easels and I haven't seen them bring out any more good mugs I don't think so I'm not worried about I'm not worried about it it's just way like way packed here Okay, so we're just going to leave those for now. They put them back right here. They didn't put them back where the kitty cats are, so nobody's going to know. Um, so I guess they looked them up. But I think it's cute, just not worth me getting right now. Hopefully somebody will put two and two together and let's bring them back by the other where he's supposed to go. I feel bad. Okay. Nothing else new over here. So this is weird. I'm like, oh, little acorn salt and peppers. I think I have the little squirrel at home for him, for them. And I turn it around and they're 309 for these teeny little inch and a half inch tall uh, shakers, which their price is just never consistent. 309 for them, I'm leaving them behind. I'm not getting them for that price. Here's a cute little vintage Inesco box with the lid on it. Uh, 1984, made in Japan, 309. It's 
cute. So I just missed out on a really cool jack-o'-lantern cat. Some lady grabbed it just as I was coming around the corner. I'm like, no, it's a black cat. And he's dressed in a pumpkin costume. Um, we have this, but it's 309 for this. Happy Halloween, and it's a witch uh, for 309 I don't know if my Halloween people would like that or not. Uh, this is adorable. Look at this bunny with the bunny in the uh, wheelbarrow and this is oh there's another baby in there two babies in there it's 309 why does Easter have to be so far away that's such a that's such a shame it is so cute that is a great price but we're past spring we're way into summer now so I don't know if that's worth getting for the booth because I'd hate to have to throw it out if it doesn't sell after a few months and it says Easter there too so I think we're just gonna leave that for somebody else but it's really cute so we have oh look at this cute little frog isn't she adorable oh my goodness I don't know I might have to get that that is a cute frog um, but we have a, a marshmallow peep here it's a little dirty but there's for Paul a little minecraft piggy there's another one here cute little minecraft piggy. I know he doesn't want one so I just showed the Minecraft stuff to him when I'm here because he likes playing Minecraft. Okay. I'm thinking about this little piggy because it's really cute. All right. And we got this bunny rabbit one. Oh, does he talk or something? He's from Lion King. Oh, he, yeah, he takes batteries. I don't know what he does though. And how much is he? Three oh nine for him. I think that's Scar, right? When Scar, so I guess he talks. He must talk. And that's the guy from Frozen in there. I think that one, the unicorn from Fortnite. Um, there's a dog and a puppy. They're from Commonwealth. You can't really see them that well. But, uh, okay, and I think I saw another, no, maybe I didn't, I thought I saw another crocheted piece here somewhere, maybe just, there's a kitty cat, here. Um, alright, I'm going to move down here and see if they added any more. I put Florissa the frog back because her, her dress was very stained. Here's a Furby missing one ear, unfortunately. That's kind of sad, and that would be like finding a needle in a haystack. He's a newer Furby anyway. All right, and keep looking. This is cute. They have mini bowling. They have a golfer putter tool. What is this? A new puzzle. Gaming monsters. So we got Parcheesi and Dominoes and playing oh, six in one games. That's awesome. 409. Uh, Nature Explorer tracking kit. That's cool. World map twister. What are those things? Is that cranium? Cranium, now you're good. I wonder if that's a good one or not. I know some of these used to be good, but I'm not sure if they are. It comes with four figures, so we'll check that out and see. 309 for that. We'll check that out in a little bit. My little glitter print ornament. Okay, little hand ornament. This one's a dollar nine. It doesn't feel like the clay is in there. Oh, it is. All right, if it's air dry clay or if it's plaster, let me feel it. Might, I'm not sure. I have to put that in the cart and check it out too. Carmen San Diego. I wonder if that's anything. Okay. Modern classic checkers. CPR anytime. That's interesting. What is it? What is oh it's a CPR dummy. Oh, that's interesting. I'll have to look that up too. That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna check out this stuff a little bit more closely. This is a very cute puzzle. Um, it would have been 99 cents today. I could see the green tag, but they put a blue tag over it. 
So, uh, made in the USA, adorable cat puzzle. I just don't know if all the, I'm not gonna sit and count 550 pieces. So, I don't want to show how cool that was. I don't do puzzles, don't have patience for them. All right, it's getting really busy down here. There's like people everywhere you go, down every aisle. Can't get down because it's crowded. So I'll do what I can. I want to show you, some, you guys some. It's getting really hard to film here, but I want to show you guys another one of those books that used to be popular back in the day that you would have on display. I sold one, but I'm not going to get that one. I don't like that one as much, so it's going to stay here. They're still putting stuff out. So I still want to show you this one thing, but I have nowhere to stop to show it to you. I'm trying, guys. Here you go. A football pumpkin. There you go. It's first for me. There's a Santa planter, or you probably put candy in it. They put a lot, a lot of holiday stuff. Uh, I'm still mad about that cat, jack-o'-lantern cat figurine thing that that other lady got. I kind of wanted that. I really did. But let me show you this thing right here. Let me show you what he does. It's like a scary zombie dog. It's a Jemmy product. And there's his ribs. But this is what he does. Whoops. I have to get him. Okay, so I'm going to get him. <laughs> He's silly. Somebody might want him. I just wanted to show you guys. He was kid He's shaking so much he was falling off the cart. There's his booty. So this is Mr. and Mrs. Claus mug set. Um, designed by Johanna Parker. They go online between like $25 and $45. It would be 20% off of $209. But I'm just not into them. I don't think they're that spectacular. And again, more Christmas stuff and big box. Um, even if I divided it in half and I could sell them separately at the mug sale. I don't know. I hate getting stuff that I don't really like. Because then if I'm stuck with it for any length of time, I have to look at it for a long time. And I don't see anything else put out here. There's a cow. Well, a very sad cow ornament. Dollar nine. I think it was like 69. I would have got them. I was waiting for it to see if they were going to put out more Halloween stuff. I could get some Halloween cats, but that lady kept it. She And she keeps taking it out of her cart and looking at it, going back over to the aisle. I'm like, put it back on the shelf. Put it back on the shelf. I want it. But I don't think that's going to happen. If you like it, get it. Leave it in your cart. Because otherwise, I'll be upset if she puts it back and then somebody else grabs it. It's no big deal. It's just stuff, guys. But I really liked it. I wish I got a shot of it, but I didn't I didn't have a chance to. As soon as I came around the corner, she got it. So, um, I'm not sure on these. I'm not sure on these. They're not that great. It's nothing I would want to sell online either because of the size of the packaging it would take. Um, I don't think any of my buyers would like it either. So, I think I'm going to leave it. Leave it for somebody else. You don't have to keep everything. You don't have to grab everything. And I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer and then I'm gonna go. So I'm here, I'm here looking at the mishmash again. This is a eco-friendly indoor turf dog potty. Um, unfortunately, I know a couple people that have really small dogs and they don't walk them. They just let them pee on pee pads in their house, which is like really gross. Um, but there's that. It's 209. It's not going back. Let me just stand it up here. Uh, more hair. Here is a baby Catan baby carrier. Too bad that's that couldn't. Eh, I could probably put a cat in it. It's a size medium. It would never make it around me. Uh, 4.99. <laughs> he looks real happy. <laughs> 4.99 for that. But it's a medium. So even if I wanted it. 
okay I don't think they added much more here to this aisle so what is this this is a water slide for 309 uh, steering wheel cover there is a sunglass or glasses case nothing in it um, mostly still the same stuff that was here before so oh here's a, a little scratcher for cats 209 for that we'll leave that behind there's a wood block just one just one okay I'm not really seeing anything here I'll be doing my recap uh, shortly guys I don't really want to stay here too long I did get enough stuff I'm happy with so what is this the tarp a tarp four foot by six foot tarp those are the really skimpy ones they they just fall apart after like the sun beats on them they disintegrate all right I can't get down the rest of the aisle so um, I'm gonna shut it off for now well, would you look at that, what they put out. 309, you know I have to get them. Your cat measuring cups. I have to get these. I wouldn't normally pay 309, but I'm gonna get them. Cause I don't have cat measuring cups and their tails are the handles, isn't that cute? All right, I'm gonna get those. So a couple more things I wanna show you. This is a glass, uh, you light it up like a night light. It's a turtle, but it's $12.99. Not gonna get it. And here's a blast from somebody's past. Denise Austin aerobic glide slide. You remember those videos? That is so funny. Demonstration video included. I don't know if it is, and I'm not gonna get it. I just thought it was cool. I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> so, I grabbed these earlier. This is Joyce from Stranger Things holding the Christmas lights, so I'll keep her. This is Thundercats Mumra, and this is Thundercats Lion-O, and apparently, even loose, they go for decent money for those two, so I'm going to get that set of three, but I don't know who this is, and then this is IG-88, a uh, little bobble from... Um, Star Wars, but this is 409 for only two of them. So I'm gonna put these back. I'm not crazy about these I really don't know who this is If you know that outfit, let me know, but I am getting those other three because they'd be it would be like um, 320 or something like that for those three. That's fine. I'm gonna do a recap shortly guys I'm just taking a break here for a minute and just double checking stuff in my cart and then I will be back I just um, I do have quite a bit of stuff in here to look through so somebody hit, th hit this cute little guy in between two of the couches. Isn't he adorable? He's cute. He is a, you know, hobby piece. He'd be 20% off of 309. But let's get him out there so somebody could get him a home. He's cute, but too big for me to deal with for Christmas time yet. But we'll leave him out there. Somebody will pick him up for sure. Well, I'm going to make Wolfie very sad, but the Jack of Beer beer lantern whatever he does have a chip on the inside rim and this guy has a chip on the back of the rim so I'm leaving them here I'm so sorry they're so wild and with the googly eyes and everything but he does have damage here and it's a crack down the side of him and this has a chip it is glass it does have a chip right there on the inside so it's not safe so although they're totally awesome um, they're damaged. Ooh, look at the Crown Royale glasses. 89 cents. Ooh, we'll take a look here and see if there's any. I just saw something over here. I want to see if it's the remake or not. Yeah, it's the remake, unfortunately. The smiley face mug. I don't know if anybody, any of you would want that, though, for, at the mug sale. So maybe I'll pick that up. And I'm going to check out these... Brown Royal glasses. I'm just looking here before I'm going to go. So I just want to take one last pass and put those back. Um, where did they go? How did I lose them? Here they are. They're right here. So there's three and not four. So um, we're just going to get the three and um, see uh, what we can find. 
so I guess I'm not fast enough lately, but some lady over there in that cart, um, she just picked up a Last Rites Crucifix, the Last Rites kit, where it's the crucifix and you slide it open, and yeah, uh, it's supposed to have the candle and all, it usually doesn't have this stuff in it, but um, yeah, she grabbed one, I, gra I have one somewhere, I just don't uh, know where it is right now. But good, people are getting some good stuff. They're snatching stuff really quick here. So I'm gonna find a try to find a quiet spot to do this recap because I do have some stuff in here, and um, I want to show it to you. But they keep bringing stuff out, but I really need to go. I really need to go. I would have really liked that last rights kit, but there'll be more. There'll be more guys, and I already have one somewhere. Well, I was gonna get this awesome wreath, but I'm gonna put it back. It's really wild looking. It's got three skulls on it, but I don't know. This guy, his his head's kind of dented in, but it's a really neat piece. It's really cool. It cost four dollars, and I can't ship it, and it's too wide for my door. But I just wanted to share it with you guys because I'm gonna put it back. All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. This is ridiculous. Um, I have a talking. A minion here, three crown royal glasses, uh, the Garfield planter, there's some, um, I don't want that to fall out, some wood slices there, these little buckets, hopefully somebody will want them as planters. I have this cute little pitcher with the face on it, I think it's adorable. Uh, the Ipsy bag. Halloween themed Ipsy bag. This is a walking and talking Chewbacca. He does work. I just turned him on and checked. Um, here is a Black Widow spider. It does something. I don't know if it goes on a pole or something. I don't know what it does. But um, it is on the on position, but the battery's dead. So we'll see what kind of batteries it takes. Maybe it drops down from the ceiling or something. But he's a dollar nine, so he's worth the risk. She, I don't know. I uh, got this for a sphere, a large sphere. Somebody has one that's brass. Okay, I got the, this planter set, the wood planter set. Then we have the metal frog. So hopefully, Kathy will come to the next variety sale. We have the two little piggies in here in the crate figurines we have the rope rug made elephant which is cool those Funkos I told you about um, a hand ornament kit and another different kind of hand ornament kit for the next craft sale uh, another frog lantern I did find the bottom part of it so um, there's a candle in there I'm going to get this for the mug sale. Don't tell me to keep calm. I think it's... Is that a chip? Oh. No, I think it's good. Uh, this glass piece, and it is marked here. Not sure what it says, but it's cool. Nice controlled bubbles in there. Alcatraz shot glass. Uh, the Raku piece. Kitty measuring uh, cups. I'm getting those. They're going to be half price, so they're going to be $5.09. I don't know what I'm to do with them, but I love the shapes. Uh, this little guy with the moon. This little guy with the moon. The pumpkin guy with the moon. Um, the apology saying from earlier that will go in the booth. This strawberry plaque. Um, this is like a, a, a geek kind of a, a mug, and it's supposed to color change when you have stuff in it. I think this is Odagiri stoneware, floral coffee mug. Um, what is this? Yoshi? Is it Yoshi? Uh, Super Mario Brothers. The booty dog. Um, those are musical leprechauns. I think they're adorable. I'm getting that that set even though they don't have lids they're half off sugar and creamer i'm going to get this bag anyway 
look at it yeah I'm gonna get this bag anyway the Amera leather uh, once I check the I have to double check the zipper on it um, two more pieces two more nice mugs here that match a scarf for the booth this is a what's his name John Perry yes a John Perry sculpture of a flamingo that's really cool it's 509 but it's uh 20 percent off so it'd be four bucks for that i'm going to just double check the um the zipper on this and then i'm i'm getting the corpse the inflatable corpse um the card stock is half empty so i think i'm just going to put that back i don't think anybody's going to want to get that and this is like an act uh, board for doing projects it shows millimeter size and stuff like that so when i'm working on something i don't know i might put that back too that's an iffy but that's what i have um if you guys already haven't done so please subscribe hit that like button leave a comment send me an email if you're interested in anything with the timestamp and a screenshot i did okay i did okay um can't believe there was a corpse in goodwill so uh thank you for watching everybody I'll be back with my sales real soon, uh, and I do sell this stuff on my channel, so until next time, see you on the flip side. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. See you at the next one. Please watch the playlist. That's going to be the first comment underneath the video if you want to see more of my content. Bye.